All right, Jada Toys, Dub City. We've got 2004, 2005, and 2007 releases. Um, one of the things that's awesome about these is the fact that they are essentially Spectra Flame. Um, I've had these since new, been in my possession in multiple storage units and bouncing around for a decade and a half or so. And I think it's time to finally open them up. So, let's go. I was about to cut into the packaging and I thought you guys might want to see the back of the package. Definitely need to look up some of the other cars in this series. Look at this. 39 Dodge Airflow Tanker. Pretty awesome. 69 Colorado yellow one. This is the second 56 Chevy I've opened up today. I'm not sure if this upload is coming before or after the Hot Wheels. Premium Editions Hot Wheels that I cracked earlier today. 69 Camaro RS and 56 210 sedan. But in any case, it is pretty nice. It's just pre-M2 days. Catching up. Sounds funny. Love that they exaggerated the skegs. It's pretty awesome. And it's 61, not 62. Which is the better of the two years, in my opinion. Not perfect casting. The proportions are not perfect, and... Certainly exaggerated somewhat. Um, it's also chopped, but still pretty awesome. Minimalistic flames, nothing too crazy. Kind of a tribal flame. And we've got giant wheels, tail fins are there, hard top body style. Of course, they had to add speakers and garbage to the back, but that is what it is. I'm not sure whose signature this is. Rick Door? I don't know. Alright, time to crack open this Ford. Oh my god, this thing is awesome. I'm a Chevy guy, not Ford. And I'm more into Coke than Pepsi. But this thing is awesome. So cool. It's the old school Pepsi logo. Not that new crap that looks like a fat dude with plumber's crack. That's a meme. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. The Pepsi logo is weird. It's adjustive. Look at the attention to detail. Wow. <laughs> I love those wheels, too. Man, that's cool. Love COEs. This thing is awesome. 